And we're back. Before we get started on our animation, let's rig up our legs and so on. Make sure everything's uh, set up the way we need to do our animation. Uh, right leg, left leg. So now that we're, we're starting to do animation work, we're going to be using this little toolbar over here. Uh, let's click this rotation tool. We grab this little green thing. We're going to put this where we think the joint is going to be. And then this allows us to just move that leg like that. And do the same thing with the other leg. And it's just a one part leg. Obviously, if you had an upper leg, lower leg, and a foot, you'd have three joints you'd be setting up. And our eyebrows. I don't know what that does. Uh, we'll probably just move them up and down, but in case we wanted to do something like that, it's rigged. Okay. So what we're going to do is let this character say his dialogue and then just have him walk off the screen. Just make sure you're in the camera view. We select the camera. Let's just zoom out a little bit so we can actually see the camera rectangle. Yeah, you want to know why I'm angry? I'm going to add more frames here in the end, so we'll just right click on one of the cells at the very end, insert cell, and we'll add another, say, 100 frames. And I'll extend the exposure on these, shift, select, right click, exposure, extend exposure. Um, Actually, those frames that it created, we want to get rid of those like that. We just want to extend the exposure to start with anyway. Um, cut. Right click on this individual cell, add keyframe. Select the transform tool. About 15 frames or so, 10, 15 frames. And then actually select the rotation tool. We lost our we lost our little connection there. Let's fix that. Move that. Now we have a little animation there. So move the other leg. Actually, make sure transform is selected there. Right click. Add keyframe. Advance, it's about the same amount of frames. Use our rotation tool, I'm gonna fix that one too. And move that. So, okay, we've got some movement with the legs. We we'll wanna keep repeating that, but we also want the body to move. So I'll introduce you to the concept of pegs here. We just add a peg over here. Add peg, we'll rename this body. And I'm gonna select all of these items, uh, not the sound and not the camera, but everything else. And you just shift click to select all those, drag it into the body. And now we have everything kind of connected all in one so I can move everything. I'm just gonna save this. We'll select a cell, right click, add keyframe. And where we want the motion to stop uh, for, at least for those first steps, we'll right click, add keyframe, and we will drag the character. Probably about that much might be okay. That's a little much. It looks like he's sliding still, so we'll just adjust that. It kind of looks almost real. That's a cartoon. Another keyframe. And we'll just make his legs continue to move as well. Save that. 
And what we're going to do now is render this out as an image sequence. And I'm going to bring that into Final Cut Pro. You can use any kind of editing program. Uh, you could actually just render it out as a QuickTime or AVI file, but you get much better quality if you export the individual image sequence and then import it into your nonlinear editing system like Final Cut or Vegas Pro or something of that nature. But, oh, actually it's gonna look kind of boring on a, a plain background. I'm just gonna put a wall and a floor for him real quick. Let's add another layer. So we'll do it down near the bottom here. There's my rectangle tool this time. The wall and the floor will be the same layer, why not? We'll select this here, drag it up. Oh, I have to extend my wall to the end of the exposures. Okay. Now, let's save this out. Uh, we're going to export movie. I'm going to have it go into this folder. Image sequence. We're, yours may be defaulted to full movie. We just want to say uh, uh, timeline current scene uh, and all frames. The image sequence, we look at options. It's PNG, that's fine. And best, best. Click OK. And it looks like that's finished. It actually takes a little while. Um, I sped the video up there. Image sequence. So see, it created all of these individual frames. So next, we go into Final Cut, or your editing program. Now I know we didn't actually animate the eyes or eyebrows, but I'll leave that with you as your homework. Just import this in. And I have to join my audio as well because I was just using that as a reference before, but now I actually have to marry that audio with this video. And we'll save this out. Export QuickTime Movie. Dude, you wanna know why I'm angry? I'm a bird. I got no wings. You see a problem here? All right, so there you have it. Hope you like it. Hope you learned something. And please subscribe. Leave any comments you have below. Thank you.